Welcome to the Laurel Park Replay Show for Friday. Friday here at Laurel, September 16th. We're back for another exciting weekend of racing action. Big fields awaiting the fans on the second weekend of the fall meet here at Laurel Park. Uh, opening weekend, a big success. A three-day weekend handle way up $7 million. People really responding to the uh, big fields on the turf here at Laurel Park. The stakes action and the competitive racing. Our early pick five, late pick five. And our rainbow pick six as well, rolling super high fives and a pick three in each and every race, so rolling pick threes as well and rolling doubles. On this Friday afternoon, 72 degrees at post time with a high of 78, cloudy, sunny, uh, alternating throughout the afternoon, winds out of the east light at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And here's a look at your races from Friday afternoon. Nine on the agenda. Let's begin everything with the opener. Second wire finish, five and a half on the turf. Starter optional claiming race. And they're off. No more excuses, gonna fire out fast from Perfect Trace and Mona Vista crossing with another badge, fourth near the inside. Money or Love is in between horses in fifth. Another three lengths back, and it's, you know, Friends and Port Cochere, and they're followed by Clam Jam, and Midnight Bounty is the last runner, some nine to 10 lengths off the pace of No More Excuses. No More Excuses a half as Mona Vista crossing tries to press from the outside in second, and another badge is in third, and Perfect Trace looming up there three wide from fourth and money or love is in fifth just in behind them is you no friends trying to rev up with a three wide kick port cochere is saving all that ground on the inside and port cochere is now now fifth on the inside moving up fourth saving all that ground they're into the stretch second wire finish mona vista crossing on the outside 25 to 1 and headed to the final furlong to open up the lead on no more excuses and port cochere has found daylight trying to run down this long shot mona vista crossing mona vista crossing 50 dollar winner in the opener mona vista crossing to win from Port Cochere, and then another badge in close fourth. And they're off. Awkward beginning for Red the Soul Diva. On the inside, Annie's Revenge is speeding up there. Annie's Revenge from Lock Up the Bourbon by a neck early. Then it's Anthem Singer Racing in third. Another five and Keys Gar Boy and Red Soul Diva. And first blush is the last runner. As they head on for the far turn, Annie's Revenge. The gray gets away a length and a half in front from Lock Up the Bourbon to more and Anthem Singer is in third. Keys Gar Boy down inside in fourth and Red Soul Diva last is first blush with three and one half furlongs left to go. Pressure's on from Annie's Revenge from Lock Up the Bourbon on the outside, lock up the Bourbon coming right on back. Uh, Annie's Revenge, they're on even terms now, midpoint of the turn, and Keys Garboy stalks them from third anthem, Singer and Red Soul Diva to the outside. And first blush is the last runner at the top of the stretch. Lock up the Bourbon with a two-length lead on Keys Garboy. Annie's Revenge driven on the inside in third. And they're followed by first blush who gets a good run, one off the inside into the stretch now. And it's Keys Garboy out in the center of the track. Keys Garboy lock up the 
Suburban. First blush tries to get through off the inside. Still Anthem Singer. Anthem Singer now charging into second. And after Keys Garboy, Keys Garboy, Anthem Singer, Keys Garboy, and Yoma Ortiz. From Anthem Singer at a big price, second. First blush was third. Lock up the Bourbon Annie's Revenge. For two and the photo for. Second wire finish, five and a half, and they're off. Dreams Gone Wild private tutor breaks with them. Uncle Tito's up there with early speed, and there goes Incredible Terms in 13th Avenue. Incredible Terms in 13th Avenue now darting ahead up the front, and that duel is developing into the far turn run. And so the inside is 13th Avenue from Incredible Terms racing the second spot, and here is the pulse right up in there in third position as they head into the far turn oration. On the far outside in fourth, Dreams Gone Wild backs off a bit in fifth, swig it in the red colors racing in sixth position. Incredible Terms has suddenly dropped out of there. And Uncle Tito followed by Racy, then swig it to the outside and put your seatbelt on classic Wildcat Private Tutor. They're into the stretch now, and it's 13th Avenue with a two-length lead and a wall of horses charging. Out between horses now is Uncle Tito. Uncle Tito charging bravely to the second spot and swig it out in the center of the track. Racy's coming on the far outside as well. They're coming to the last furlong. It's 13th Avenue. 13th Avenue, Uncle Tito followed by Racy, then swig it and put your seatbelt on in Private Tutor. It's going to be 13th. 13th Avenue, 13th Avenue from Uncle Tito, and maybe Private Tudor Third. And they're off. Come to Utopia Fancy Outflanker very fast out of their Danish pastry and want to be wild for of them mixing it up early, then copping out from the rail in fifth. And started with a whisper and start winning is the trailer. Danish pastry now gets clear of the other speed by a length from want to be wild on the chase second. Copping out down to the rail is a handy third. They're followed by Fancy Outflanker racing in the fourth spot and come to Utopia is dropped to the back of the pack and started with a whisper and start winning in the back eight lengths off of Danish pastry. Rounds that turn three and a half to go. 
a length in front. Wanna be wild and copping out is in third. Fancy outflanker then started with a whisper and start winning and come to Utopia. Two and a half furlongs left to go and it's Danish pastry pouring it on, opening up two and a half. In second now on the outside is Fancy Outflanker who's coming with a big run and copping out is in third and started with a whisper, saving ground there. Has advanced in the fourth, they're into the stretch and Fancy Outflanker. Fancy Outflanker takes the lead in Danish pastry. A wandering third is copping out and started with a whisper near the inside. Farther out is start winning. It's Fancy Outflanker, two lengths in front from Danish pastry, then copping out and started with a whisper. Fancy Outflanker, Fancy Outflanker and copping out and started with a whisper. Fancy Outflanker, copping out, started with a whisper. Close second there, then Danish pastry stopped then start winning. Time one fifteen point forty seven. Price and Schiffer Magician and lined up. And they're off. I see Miss in the middle of the pack. Apple Sheen and Jim came out second and third. And then it's Beaches and Bourbon is taken back a bit now and passed by Cosmopolitan Girl. And Justice for Sheena is followed by Shifra Magician and Celtic Embrace will be wide of that first turn run. Out there about five deep is Celtic Embrace, caught deepest of them all. Around the turn they go and it is Capuchin leading the way with I see Miss there length behind in the second spot. And Shifra Magician is just holding third from Jen who's parked in the fence in fourth position. Position and Celtic embraces back in fifth. Beaches and Bourbon is in six. And Justice for Sheena. And Shirley's curls of the inside. And Cosmopolitan Girl. And not a secret unhurried last position now. And 11 lengths off the pace. Fairly steady pace up front with Capuchina neck in front from Icy Miss and Jim. Just waiting in the wings in third on the inside. Shift from Magician Celtic Embrace, then Beaches and Bourbon. And that group two, the inside is Shirley's Curls. Justice for Sheena, Cosmopolitan Girl, not a secret. Heading off of the far turn, and it's Capuchina neck in front from Icy Miss to the outside. Two lengths back, Jim and Shift from Magician. Then Celtic Embrace and Shirley's Curls down to the rails. Five from the front, Beaches and Bourbon. Uh, has uh, to go on from there but is dropping back now and they're followed by Cosmopolitan Girl and Not a Secret and Justice for Sheena. They're into the stretch and it's Capuchin is digging down with a challenge of Icy Mist to the outside and Shirley's Curls down inside with a fighting chance darting through with an inside opening. Shirley's Curls Capuchin, Shirley's Curls, Capuchin Fergal Lynch and Shirley's Curls Shirley's Curls, Shirley's Curls look at that price. Shirley's Curls from Capuchin and then Gem and Beaches and Bourbon and Icy Missy Miss.
And they're off. Bit of a bobble for participate at the start. Princess Aquila gets the first call out of the gate from Intractable up with early speed. And then it's Harlan's Perfection and Marilyn Bird and Lake Turkana will settle in on the rail at a first turn run as they push into the turn. Here is Include Gold racing along in mid-pack already and they're followed by Participate in the inside. And then it's German Edition and Talk Less Smile More racing three wide around that turn and Gloria Patri out there three deep as well. Tis a diamond, tight quarters of Victory Square, the back of the pack. They're led by Intractable. Intractable's the one to catch from Lake Turkana is the closest rival in the second spot. It's Marilyn Bird outside of Princess Aquila, and now in advance of Include Gold, who's at the rail, about five, six from the front, and then in between horses, next line is German Edition, Highlands Perfection, and Talk Less, Smile More. Then Participate and Tis a Diamond, Gloria Patri, and Victory Square is last. It's been an easy pace up front as they head into the far turn for Intractable. Intractable from the favorite Lake Turkana by a length. As Marilyn Bird is working harder to stay from third, Princess Aquila is next. Then it's Harlan's Perfection, fifth of the outside. Talk less. Smile more has got a chance now. Splitting horses now moving third and within five of the leaders at the top of the stretch. Lake Turkana and Intractable head to head as they turn for home and Talk less. Smile more tries to quicken to the middle of a track in third. And Princess Aquila is in fourth. They're followed by German Edition in fifth and Lake Turkana under Alex Cintron responding with a four length lead from Talk Less Smile More and German Edition has advanced to third but it is Lake Turkana even money and coming home to win by four from Talk Less Smile More and then it was German Edition Princess Aquila or Intractable. And they're off. John Jones in mid-pack right to the front from Memories of Winter and Stolen Love up to the inside and Never Stop Looping deep on the outside up close to. Here's Team Tim in fifth early and they're followed by Struth is now moving through and Struth getting aggressive on the inside now with room just to the inside of John Jones and they hook up. So Struth, John Jones, John Jones outside, Struth on the inside and Struth in a matter of a few strides has come the game and narrow lead. It's Never Stop Looking now tracking in third. They're followed by Memories of Winter in between horses fourth. Easy River is fifth and Stolen Love is sixth and only four from the front. Then Team Tim and Mithus are side by side and they're six to close in. They're followed by Flash McCall and C. Raven is last and about a dozen lengths off the pace up ahead. It's been a strong one with Struth and John Jones and neck behind on the outside. Here is third position now in between horses memories of winter with Easy River down to the rail and never stop looking in the second flight while three wide midpoint of the turn. Stolen Love is working hard. Carter Mythos on the inside, Team Tim, Flash McCall is eight to make up as they make the turn for home and out wide is C. Raven turning for home now and it's John Jones who survived that duel with Struth to open up three. John Jones opens up a quick three lengths, about three sixteenths of a mile left of the line. It's Mr. Diswitter, John Jones and Louis Garcia. They blasted away now some eight lengths on top. C. Raven has made a stout run from last into second but at the 16th pole, John Jones in a powerful win. John John Jones, much the best here to win by a half dozen. Sea Raven was second. Then it's Flash McCall third, followed by Never Stop Looking in Struth.
time, 137.20. Second wire, and they're off. The great provider flying out of the air with Ryder on the storm and Bill's passion showing great speed at the outside, and Mr. Stream is in that speed mix too. Here is Minor Legend next in fifth, and Great Fox six near the inside, and Joseph is seventh. Will be three wide into the far turn run. Sweet Liam and Black Tie Event are next, and Magnificent Mr. Z. Power Nap and Bay Bridge are the two runners in the back, and they're 13 lengths off that leader, who is now Bill's passion with a quick pace up there by three lengths from Mr. Stream in pursuit in second. Rider on the Storm is in third, then their great provider is in fourth, and Gray Fox saving all that ground, ready to rev up for a stretch kick. The far outside is Joseph, who's next. They're into the stretch at the 316th. Bill's Passion and a host of pursuers. Joseph on the far outside is trying to come with the run. Inside is Rider on the Storm in third, and Gray Fox is fourth, and Minor Legend is fifth and eighth. A mile left to go. Joseph and Trevor McCarthy quickly going right on by Bill's Passion, who's trying to dig, but it's going to be Joseph from Bill's Passion, Minor Legend on late, then Gray Fox in that show photo. Time 102.77. Tado and Stephen Garidis in. They're off. Fast away is Jarvis. Jarvis Tisdays just slew for the outside and Boss Magician in the early mix up the rail from third. Here's Storm Candy racing fourth, then it's East Side Cat in fifth. Tato's underway from the back of the pack with an early bit on the far outside. Now within three and a half or four of the lead, Steven got eight. He's about seven from the front of this point. And Path Dependent and Cold Spice and last is Thunder's Fury. Into the far turn run and Tis Deja Slew dueling with Jarvis on the inside. Length and a half more, Boss Magician just off them from third. East Side Cat right there, fourth. And it's another five lengths back. Ground saving Storm Candy is in fifth as they make the swing into the stretch at the 316 second wire run. Jarvis on the inside, Tis Deja slew to the outside. They're in a head-to-head -head battle. Boss Magician had every chance to get by. Did not quite. Out in the middle is East Side Cat. And even farther out, Storm Candy's come storming home now. And here's Storm Candy with a big final furlong. Storm Candy on the outside at the 16th pole. Storm Candy, Louis Garcia. Storm Candy and a photo. Storm Candy with Tis Deja slew. And then Jarvis.
time 103.0. That's it for the Friday replay show here at Laurel Park. Hope you had a winning Friday afternoon. Come out and join us Saturday and Sunday post time at 110. Huge fields on both Saturday and Sunday as well. If you can't make it out to live racing here at Laurel Park, be sure to visit many of the off-track betting sites here in Maryland, including the very popular OTB at Timonium. We have some new ones too, especially in Boonesboro, our newest OTB, the Horseshoe Casino, the Riverboat Restaurant as well, and more to come. Thanks for watching the Friday replay show. Good luck, everybody.